What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we're back with a brand new WWE Elite 2-pack review on the WrestleMania 10 Amazon exclusive WWE Elite 2-pack Razor Ramon and Shawn Michaels. Now remember when we first saw this pack, I want to say I was at the airport and this happens very often. We saw this also with the Amazon Ultimate Edition 2-pack with the Gobbledygooker and the Undertaker. I want to say it was the morning of the WrestleMania Superstore or maybe that was when I saw the Gobbledygooker and this may have been on the way to San Diego Comic-Con. It was either or. It was one or the other. Or maybe it was the Royal Rumble. I don't have to remember because it happens every time. Every time there's like a big event of reveals, early that morning they will show off the figure images. And so we saw these figure images, and it is finally in our hands. I feel like we've been waiting on this one for quite a while. But this boy is a hefty one, man. Coming forward here, you guys can see at the top it says WrestleMania. You have the big X logo for number 10. At the bottom down here it says Razor Ramon versus Shawn Michaels in the gold. It has a kind of a grainy style feel to it. On the top of the box it says WrestleMania 10. On one side you get the handsome legend there, Razor Ramon. On the opposite side you get the handsome man, Shawn Michaels. So, I mean, what else could you want, man? Block WWE logo. More WrestleMania 10 lore. You got the their iconic ladder match. I think the splash is probably what people remember the most about this, but what's even funnier is he didn't even win the matchup. I think a lot of people also forget that. We have Shawn Michaels with the splash, which used to be in my intro, actually, which is cool. Shout out Battle Stories. But nonetheless, man, what's so cool about this packaging in general is you come here and you can actually slide this apart right there. And this is like a sleeve. You guys can see it's an operational sleeve right there. And then here it says ladder match. And then it says for the Intercontinental Championship. And then you can also slide the figures out there. So you have like a dual box sleeve here. And then in the middle, you have two Intercontinental Championships and Shawn Michaels and Razor on the ladder itself going all the way down there. What the hell? One of my hands fell out, man? That hand better be in that damn packaging or I'm going to have a conniption. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that I bet someone over at Mattel, this must be one of their favorite matches of all time. To get this treatment and everything like that, man, or maybe it's just because it's coming up on the 30 year anniversary, I guess. But on the inside here, you guys can also see that the WrestleMania 10 background is in the background there. So that's, okay, there's the hand. Nonetheless, man, let's crack these guys out of our packaging and let's find out what these two figures of this WWE Elite 2 pack are all about. So here is Razor Ramon and Shawn Michaels out of the packaging, man. Liking what I'm seeing out of this two-pack so far. Not perfect by any stretch, which we're going to, of course, dive into the lore of each character and whatnot. But typically how we do these things, you guys already know. We're going to take a look at the accessories first and then run through each individual figure, breaking down the comparisons and whatnot. But I would love to see them do this with some other WrestleMania matches, especially like marquee matches. Imagine a WrestleMania X7 pack with The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin. I guess we're going to have to wait till 2026, I guess to be like the 25th anniversary or whatever. Which I don't really think, I don't think, like, I think anniversaries are cool and whatnot in terms of releases. It's like, oh, it's the 50th anniversary, let's release this special set. Or, oh, it's the 20th anniversary, release this set. I just think if a set's cool, man, put that shish out, you know? So, I would really like to see some Ultimate Edition packs like this. But we do have two really cool Elite figures right here that we're gonna dive into, of course. But, nonetheless, man, let's shut the hell up, dive into the lore of the WrestleMania 10 Amazon exclusive WWE Elite 2-pack Shawn Michaels and Razor Ramon and take a look at these accessories. So, so before we get into the rest of the accessories, man, you do get this really big ladder here from WrestleMania. It is in a red and silver, which is very nice. I do like this. I tend to like the ringside collectibles ladders better, but this is probably more accurate, I'd say. We have seen this before on multiple occasions. I mean, the, the one that really just comes to mind is the Epic Moments Hardy set from WrestleMania 33, where we got two big ladders like this and then two short ladders. But they usually give us the shorter ladder, so I am glad to see them include the really big ladder here in the red color, but I did want to showcase this just in case you guys have never seen this before and if I zoomed in on all the other accessories it'd be really hard to see it so I did want to showcase this it's very tall I mean like it doesn't even fit on camera so when you stand this up I mean it's almost as tall as the packaging maybe a couple inches shorter but also has the hinge right here you know you can break that down for some reason I want to say is this not flipped I want to say it's like obviously it's supposed to be like that to be sturdy but don't you you hit it underneath you don't break it down like this so maybe they're just on backwards maybe I need to flip those around but I don't know it's still cool to include a ladder accessory I have a drawer full of massive ladders, and I don't know, but yeah, it is cool to include the ladder. I definitely like that. But the rest of the accessories you get here are pretty damn cool, you know? I, they're definitely not perfect, which we're going to dive into, which is something I want to get into immediately. And that's going to be our Intercontinental Championships, man. If you look at this immediately, you'll probably tell this is a modern Intercontinental Championship. You have all the modern WWE logos on there, no block logos, which is pretty disappointing, I'd say. I definitely don't like how they are the modern logos, you know? I mean, I guess it'll 
past, you could put this on display, but it would have been really awesome to see them include the block logos that would have been included here on this. And I don't think it was accurate at the time, but the red WWF logo on the IC title would have been nice. I don't think it was accurate at this time, but the modern logo is definitely not accurate, right? I mean, that goes without saying. I think the world logo is also supposed to be a bit muted, right? Desaturated, so that would have been cool to see, but we do get two Intercontinental Championships for what you will. Each guy also comes with his entrance vest, so you get the entrance vest with the razor. And I may be tripping, but I want to say, isn't this gold and accurate? It kind of comes across like a greenish color or like a lighter gold. And I want to say this isn't accurate completely. I could be wrong about that, though. Maybe I'm just remembering it off the cuff and what have you, but I don't know. It is the same exact Defining Moment style vest that we saw with the other razors before. It's just recolored here, so you do have the razor logo on the back. And then we do get Shawn Michaels' WrestleMania entrance vest. You have the black and red. It's got the zebra print going around. You have the little shingles and little chains and whatnot hanging off here. You have the heart on the back, which I think is always sick. I love how it's the heart in the middle with the chains connecting. Then you have the cross, and you have the zebra print going all the way around. It's very sweet, man. I like this a lot. Very clean aesthetic to the vest. And I do believe we've seen this vest before on a couple occasions. Maybe just a flashback Walmart exclusive elite. But I want to say we saw it another time as well, but I could be wrong about that. But I do want to say I remember it from that flashback Walmart exclusive wave. And with the razor, you also get his bunch of necklaces right here on top of each other. You have the razor in there, which I always thought was so damn cool. That's such a cool necklace to own, man. I just think that's awesome. I really want an MDT, like, gold necklace like this that's really small pendant. Maybe, like, with some shimmer and glitter and whatnot. I think it would be cool. But, I don't know. Nonetheless, a very badass chain here, even though we've seen it multiple times. And then we also have these brand new entrance glasses. I do believe we've seen these with that little reticle or the little, I don't even know what the hell you'd call this, over the eye socket right there. But it is nice to see this. I try, it's a little bit warped. I tried to, you know, push it down, but it's, it keeps like kind of angling out right there, but it does fit the figure well. You come in right here and can kind of plop this on here. I don't know, it's not bad. Fits the figure okay, I'd say. Covers up that gap as well, because when you pull this off, man, you'll notice that there's a gap right there in the hair, and I guess they did that so the glasses would fit, but it makes them look a little bit weird, because I don't think that's accurate to have that little, I don't know, like hair completely missing off the ear. But then for interchangeable hands, you do get the glove sculpted hands here with the knuckle holes right there, which I think are awesome, but we do get some fisted hands for Shawn Michaels and the gloves. And then you also get mic holding hands that are also sculpted. So I do love to see that. You love to see the sculpted glove hands here for the interchangeable hands. But mine seem to be a bit loose when you plug them in. I don't know if anybody else is getting that. And then for the interchangeable hands you get with Razor, you do get mic holding hands. You have the Mattel You Can't See Me entrance, Finn Balor entrance style hands, but it is to do the little, I don't know. It doesn't really work that well, but you know what I'm talking about. You're supposed to do the googly moogly. And then he also has the thumbs up hands or the thumbs pointing up or thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you want to say. Pointing at himself. So different stuff here, but you have kind of the hitchhiker style hands. I mean, getting into the Razor Ramon, start out the head sculpt. I think it's a solid head sculpt. It's not my favorite of all time, but I think you do get that Scott Hall or Razor Ramon likeness going on here. But like the head shape's a little bit off a little bit, you know? And I think that is an important thing to note when trying to get the head sculpt right. Same thing with Stone Cold Steve Austin. I talk about him because this is the best case or the best way to kind of describe it. His head is more longer than it is wider, so you can't really give him like that wide head. He has more of an oval shape style head, but I just feel like this Scott Hall's head's a little bit wide or a little bit large. I don't know. But the hair sculpt looks solid. I think you do get some different likeness going on there, but he's kind of speaking. He's kind of just saying like, hey, yo, kind of, I don't, I don't even know. But going around, you do have the hair sculpt going on. This is all brand new. Five o'clock shadow looks okay. Going down into the torso, it's the same torso they always use for Razor. He's got the stomach and chest hair, which we like to see. Black elbow pads on there that do have the razors on the right, on the, on the left side instead of the right side. You do have the gold razors on the butt right there, and then you do have the red and black black on the face of the attire, which I do think this is a gear that a lot of people have been wanting from Razor for a very long time. He's got his long legs in there, big knee pads with the Razors on there as well, and then he does have the black boots with the white outsoles. Not, you know, just a crazy figure. I mean, he's not, you know, he doesn't have all the bells and whistles going on with him, but it's still a, a pretty good figure, I would say, for the most part. I feel like a lot of Razor Ramon figures typically get loose legs for whatever reason, but I'm not getting this with this figure. Not going to go into the lore of the articulation because we've seen a bunch of Scott Halls before or Razor Ramones and doesn't change that much. I mean, he has a pretty good kick forward if you guys wanted to see that. But the rest of it is pretty standard articulation when it comes to that. But nonetheless, let's get into some Razor Ramones Scott Hall figure comparisons. So for your Scott Hall figure comparisons, man, I mean, Scott Hall is one of those guys that I lack a lot. I don't have the Chase Ultimate. I do have the Defining Moments, but the legs are just insanely loose. I didn't even feel like standing him up in here, man. He, he's just awful. I need a redo of that. I do have the Flashback. We do have the Ultimate Scott Hall coming later. I don't have the Ringside Exclusive Scott Hall in the black and white. I don't have the Elite 51. So I'm definitely missing my share of Scott Hall figures or Razor Ramones. I don't even, dude, I don't even think I have the Legends figure. The blue
Blue Legend. So I'm I'm way behind on Scott Hall, and I just I never found that figure, man. So it's it sucks. So I definitely need to track down some Scott Hall Razor Ramon figures. But here's the lore. You got some different ones going on here. Of course, we do have two other Razors that are not featured here, and then another one if you're not counting the Ultimate Edition in the purple, the Chase variant, of course. But it is cool to see these up next to each other here, and we do have like a different head sculpt on all these, so you kind of can just pick your poison. But I feel like the rest of the Razors kind of capture his head sculpt shape better, if that makes sense. You see how like oversized this one is compared to the others? I feel like the others have a better head shape, even if the lightness on this one is better than maybe the Raw 3-pack one or some other ones. I just believe that the head shape here is a little bit off, but I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below. Alright, so getting into Shawn Michaels, starting out with the head sculpt. Do believe this is a brand new head sculpt. Don't think we've seen this before. We've seen ones that are similar, but the hair sculpt was different, I do believe. And we may have seen this on a battle pack or something like that, but I don't know. It's not my favorite, man. I don't really care for this head sculpt all that much. I don't think it's a horrific one, but I guess it's passable, but you also notice that there's a gap right here. I don't think that's accurate, but the way you put the glasses on there, I think that's why. So when you put the glasses on there, you know, it covers up the hair and it's not too far outstretched, but I do like the earrings in there. Those look good. No chest or stomach hair on this guy, which I'm not sure if it's accurate or not. I just wish that they'd put a little bit on there regardless if it's accurate or not, because I don't think he's out there just clean shaving as hell. Could be wrong though. I don't know, but he got his tattoo right here on his arm, double jointed arm, black wrist tape with the gloved hands in there sculpted, which is very nice. We do have the white gear here with the broken hearts or the, the cut hearts right there with the zebra print, of course. Black and red hearts with the zebra print in there, heartbreak kit on the butt cheeks right there. You got the open black knee pads, and then you do have the kick pads going all the way down, which is an interesting take here over the kick pad mold, but he didn't wear kick pads as we know, but these are white solid. Then you do have the black outsoles with the silver, and I don't know, man. We've pretty much seen this figure before. It's not, you know, a bunch of bells and whistles on here. It's not going to be very different, very much different at least from some other Shawns we've seen in the past, which we'll get into, but I don't know. He's very poseable. He's on ball joints. Like, Shawn Michaels figures are some of the ones you'll, you'll get to pose around the best, and it's just because he's on ball joints. You know, he's got the double jointed arms. There's some great things going on here, but essentially this is a redo. We've seen this figure quite a few times before, and we'll get into the lore right quick. So for your Shawn Michaels figure comparisons, you do have the most recent legend Shawn Michaels on the right, and then you do have the flashback Walmart exclusive Elite Shawn Michaels here on the left, and you guys can see this is basically a re-release of this figure. Slightly new head sculpt or different head sculpt. No chest hair as this one does have, and it's double jointed arms. And for whatever reason, this one like was always finicky to me for some reason. The waist is a little bit loose. Like, I don't know. There's just some things going on with this figure in general. That, like, this is a definite upgrade in certain terms. It's got sculpted gloves, interchangeable hands. And there's some different things going on with this figure that are better, obviously. But it's almost like you took this figure and this figure and combined it to make this figure. And this one's kind of a, a combination of this figure and the ringside exclusive. So there's def just some different stuff going on there. But I don't know. I, I like this new Sean, but I would definitely like to fix him up in some d different ways. I'd also like to see a dirt bike, dirt bike boot mold going on, you know, like motocross style boots, but yeah, it is, it is cool, it's cool to see these up next to each other and what have you, but I wish I did have the ringside exclusive, that's one that I always got, I ordered it a couple times, but I think it was mostly for parts, so there's a few Shans missing from the collection, but not like a Razor Ramon or Scott Hall, but yeah, definitely need to get some more Shans in here, but that is your Shawn Michaels action figure, but I think that's pretty much going to wrap the Amazon exclusive WrestleMania 10 WWE Elite 2-pack Shawn Michaels and Razor Ramon, man. I like a lot of the things going on here. I am not a huge fan. Let's just go. Let's go over the things I don't like, and then we'll go into the things I do like. I know sometimes I try to do that, and then sometimes I just get carried away and just start spittering off just different things about the pack. So I do apologize for that. I need to get better at that, to be honest with you. But let's rumble off. Let's ramble off the things I didn't like about the pack, and then we'll get into the things I do like about the pack. First of all, don't like that we have modern intercontinental championships. I feel like that is just ridiculous, man. That needs to. Well, that shouldn't happen, man. That should not happen in a pack like this. Having these modern intercontinental championships does nothing for nobody. I know it's a double negative, all right? I know what the hell I'm talking about. I, I I was a stud English student, okay? But nobody likes that, all right? We definitely need the block logo intercontinental championship in here, and preferably, you know, the more muted blue, like the darkish blue, or just the not, not as saturated blue with the block logo would have been money. And I really, I don't really care for the new Scott Hall head sculpt. It's not my favorite by any means. I just feel like his head looks a bit fat. I think it could have been a little bit slimmer. I think there's some likeness there, and I like that they tried to go with like that mullet with the short bangs. I don't know. It's just not my favorite head sculpt of all time. The new Sean head sculpt, solid, I guess. I think it has enough likeness of a young Sean. I don't know why I have that big gap between the ear and the lower hair there. I don't think that's accurate. My hands are also very loose on my Sean Michaels, which I've noticed about the gloved hand specifically. That happened. I do believe we got that gloved 
mold first with a Hulk Hogan figure. I think it was the ringside exclusive Wolfpack Hogan. When we got that figure, I also noticed that his hands were loose as well. So it must be something about that hand mold or something that it, something about the pegs just don't fit the holes of the arms correctly on these elites. So the head sculpts and the Intercontinental Championships and then the loose hands and then I don't know, kind of a nitpick, but I want to say Shawn Michaels had chest hair at this moment. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure Shawn always had some chest and stomach hair. And even if it wasn't a lot, they could have at least put something because the bare chest just looks weird for me. But maybe I'm wrong there. I just think it would have been better. But also something, it doesn't really affect this pack, but the kick pad feet or boots I would like to see for Shawn Michaels. I would like to see them do a new mold. Even if these look more accurate than the past, I would like to see the dirt bike boots sculpted in some way, man. They need to find a way to get those style boots in these WWE figures for Shawn Michaels. And then his sculpted flat boots. Maybe you could do a new mold for those and then reuse them for the dirt bike boot mold. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just fantasy booking getting crazy. But I think it's a really cool pack. I do like that we're getting this moment here. But I don't know. I don't know if there's enough here that would suffice buying this pack off of different stuff. I mean, it's basically like you took the flashback Walmart exclusive Sean and combined it with the new legend Sean that we got not too long ago. And then if you took the ringside exclusive Sean, that would be like combining that figure with the flashback Walmart exclusive Sean. So it's kind of a rigmarole. It's like a bunch of combinations of different figures put together kind of, but they're very, very similar. Just, you know, a few updates here and there. And then the Razor is pretty much just a repaint with a new head sculpt. So I don't know. I think it's a cool pack, but I don't think it's absolute must have. And I think even the gold on Razor's jacket might be a little bit inaccurate, but I do like the pack. I think it's a cool pack. I like the history of it. Just some different things here and there that I don't really like about the pack, but the packaging is incredible. If you're going to keep it mint on card, then that's a whole different issue right there. Maybe if you left it in the packaging, like open both sides of the packaging and left it, you know, climbing the ladder right there would have been really cool. I think on a display it would work fine, but as far as the details go, maybe it misses the mark here and there, but I don't know, man. Maybe I'm crazy. You guys can let me know what you think of this down in the comment section below. I really love collecting Shawn Michaels figures and having more Razor Ramones I do like. I just think the execution of certain things could have been a little bit better, but nonetheless, man, that is going to pretty much wrap up the review of the WrestleMania 10 WWE Elite 2-pack of Razor Ramon and Shawn Michaels. Again, this is Amazon exclusive. If you guys want to grab that, you can't go over there and check it out, man, but I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a huge shout out to the Patron Army of the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate every single one of you fellas over there, man. Thank you guys so very much for all of your support, as always. I have a really cool plan for a certain thing I'm working on that I, I can't wait to do a video on. It's going to require some different things. So all I can really say is I think I figured out the stage dilemma. You remember the stage dilemma that we were having? I think I pretty much figured out what I want to do there. So we will see, man. But nonetheless, I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>